chose this course partly from living in Edinburgh. Um, I also, I wanted to study only popular music. I'm not a classical singer in any way, so this course was suited to me. I came to Napier because it's one of the only places in Scotland you can do a popular music degree. Plus there are a lot of classical courses, there aren't a lot of courses which cater for the things which I'm interested in. Um, I'm very interested in jazz amongst other things uh, and at this uni I've got the chance to uh, participate in a diverse range of music. The aim of our course is to give people a, a really broad knowledge into uh, what people are required to have to work in the music industry now. Um, we try to turn out students who are going to be creative musicians, who don't just focus on being a fantastic player or a fantastic recording engineer, but can work in the music industry successfully so that they're going to be able to achieve work in you know, any area that they try their hand to. Our programme really has three strains to it. Um, we have a strain that's technology based, we have a strain that's performance based, where people will study a principal study instrument such as guitar, bass, drums, voice or composition. And we also have our contextual studies which are things like oral music, uh, popular music history, music business. Uh, we also do community music at two levels and we also cover things like music therapy and uh, music instrumental teaching. So in terms of options, there's a whole variety of things that you can take. That's what's so strong about the degree. Depending on your professional aspirations, depending on your own particular interests, then you can pick and choose from a whole series of options. We're not prescriptive here. We don't insist on particular styles of playing. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Students come to us and insist that they get to do different kinds of music, which is fine for us. You know, we love to hear all these different things that are going on and we won't insist on a specific type of music. We do insist that you learn specific skills, but once you've started to get these skills, then it's up to you to use them to express yourself in whatever musical way you want. Whatever it is that's inside you, we'll help you get it out, but it's still yours. We have a fairly open door uh, policy with our students, you know, uh, friendly, you know, we, we all meet them in the corridors and we'll, we want to know what they've been doing in music recently, you know. So we're, we're actively encouraging them to tell us about gigs that they're doing, I mean, if we can do, we try and help to promote that. We have a gig committee that we set up uh, a couple of years ago with our students uh, and they arrange gigs for the students that are here. Um, so they're out um, taking bands to like the GRV in Edinburgh. We've also had bands playing at the Picture House. Um, so, I mean, it's a fairly active music scene that they're trying to create for their, their peers, basically. That's one of our main strengths, is that all of our staff can be seen out and about working within the industry, and at very high levels too. And I'm pleased to say, not just in narrow fields, but all of the staff cover different areas, so classical, jazz, as well as rock. We've got some of the best resources in Scotland for music teaching. Our MIDI technology, our studios are second to none, and they're ideal for learning in. You've got lots of access to them, weekends too, and we make sure that you can get as much hands-on time as you possibly can. That's so important to us that you can get in there and you can get your hands dirty and learn how to use the technology. We're here in Studio One, which is, is the main teaching studio. It's, it has capacity for about 30 students, so a whole class can get experience of, of a session, and that session could be rock and pop, or it could be jazz through in the main recital space there, or it could be a small uh, orchestral uh, performance going on, a chamber orchestra there. That richness, we think, is, is one of the key things here, here at Edinburgh Napier, the fact that especially our composition students could be working on a world music project, they could be working on jazz, but equally they could be recording horns or a string quartet for, for a rock and pop piece. What we've actually managed to do here is to build a front end that is very much a high-end recording studio, but to do it in a space where we can fit up to 30, 40 students in here as well. Um, we've also, in, in using a room this size, been able to kit it out in eight speaker surround sound as well. So we can use it for electroacoustic composition, we can use it for 5.1 or 7.1 surround, uh, and we can also use it for more, a more conventional studio type space. Paul and myself are both uh, DigiDesign certified instructors. Um, what that means is that we are certified uh, to train people in Pro Tools uh, to a high level. Uh, we're both expert level qualified. Uh, as is one of our colleagues from the Screen Academy. 
Uh, so we're able to offer pro uh, training both on the music side and on the post-production side uh, in Pro Tools. Um, the advantages to being able to do that here at Edinburgh Napier are that as well as gaining the technical abilities and knowledge that comes with working specifically with Pro Tools, you also get the input from the classical course, you get the input from the post-production side of things from the Screen Academy, so really you get a much more rounded understanding of, of where you're going to go within the industry after that. Potential students that we look for are students who have a deep interest in learning music, who obviously have studied possibly a higher at school but have taken it that extra stage, who have perhaps played in community big bands or have their own band themselves, or people who are even industry professionals who have chosen to come back to study. You know, we look for that in all of our students. We also look for a keenness and a passion about them to study music. I would say the most important thing is to be up to speed on what's happening nowadays, to know what's about to happen. Of course you should know all the old stuff, you should know the Standards, the Hendrix, the Deep Purple, the Pink Floyd, the Beatles, and while we're interested in that, what we're really interested in is what's about to happen. All auditions are around half an hour long. Uh, we look for students to come in and present a programme of varying styles in their instrument. If it's a composer, for example, we'd ask them to bring in maybe three or four pieces that they have composed and written and scored themselves so we can discuss the work with them. Uh, for a, an instrumentalist, say a vocalist, bass player, drummer or guitarist, we would ask them to come in and perform three or two or three pieces in varying styles so that we could gauge their level and also see how musical they are. Um, after that part, we'll have a, a short theoretical test about their instrument. So for example, for a guitar, it would be scales and chord knowledge. For a bass player, it may be showing different techniques other than the techniques they've shown in the two pieces or three pieces they've played for us. For drummers, there's always a test of rudiments. So looking at the, the basic nuts and bolts of like hand patterns uh, and technique. And then moving on to uh, like vocalists that are asked to improvise over the songs they've just played and sang. So we ask them to sing in different meters over the top so they understand how the phrasing works. Um, as it comes to sort of oral perception tests, we'll give them some chords to recognise. We'll also give uh, melodies they have to sing back to us, and that's for all instruments. Um, and then the vocalists sometimes have to work in harmony with uh, the vocal tutor that's doing the auditions. Other times, again, they're asked to sing melodies back. Well, music, like any creative industry, is generally freelance. We prepare our students in a number of ways for that freelance industry. Not only do we give them the high level of skills in terms of their craft as musicians, but we also give them the insight so that they can go out into the wide world and start to make work for themselves and start to make success for themselves. And you know, other former students have you know, ended up sort of managing bands. We have I think, a former student who's managing Groove Armada at the moment. Uh, other students who have signed publishing deals as well and are concentrating on songwriting whereas previously they thought they were going to, you know, end up as performers. Another great advantage for us is Edinburgh, where we are in this gorgeous, spectacular campus at Craig House. We're linked to all of our other campuses around town, where, there, again, we have all these other subject areas that we can link in with. That's a great strength. Edinburgh itself is one of the world's great cities, home of the biggest festival in the world in terms of arts and all the other festivals, and of course that provides lots of opportunities for our students to get involved. There's a lot of music business in Edinburgh as well, and of course we have links to lots of the personnel there, we have visiting professionals coming up to talk to the students, and our students are bumping into these people all the time. Until you